Hey there guys, in this next video we're going to have an introduction to what are called logarithms and that's going to be the majority of the uh, remainder of our unit here is discussing and working with uh, logarithms. So first of all we need to start out with what is a logarithm. A logarithm is just another way of writing exponents. Okay, so you have to uh, be comfortable with how to write exponents and how to use exponents in order to uh, know how to use logarithms. Okay. Uh, here in this box I have an equation uh, that is in what we call logarithmic form and uh, this is what logarithmic form looks like. The way you read this equation is log base b of a equals x. Okay, so this little subscript here right next to the log, that's called the base of the log. Um, and then we would call this uh, a value here, we would call that the argument uh, and then uh, equals uh, x here. So what this equation means is just this. It means that whatever b is, if b is taken to the x power, then that is equal to the value of a. Okay, so if you see an equation in, again, this logarithmic form, it just means that the base taken to the answer's power uh, is equal to uh, this argument value, a. Okay, so what we're going to practice doing here is just converting uh, these equations that are given to you in logarithmic form to exponential form for 1 through 6. Okay, so this first equation, we read this as log base 3 of 9 equals 2, and all that means is that 3 to the second power, 3 squared, equals 9. Okay, which is true, we know 3 squared is equal to 9. Number 2, log base 6 of 216 equals 3. So this means that 6 to the third power is equal to 216. Number 3, log base 7 of 1 equals 0. In exponential form, that means that 7 to the 0 power equals 1. Number 4, log base 2 of 16 equals 4 means that 2 to the fourth power equals 16. Number five, log base four of one sixteenth equals negative two. That's four to the negative two equals one sixteenth. And then number six, log base nine of twenty-seven equals three halves. Well, that's nine to the three halves power equals twenty-seven. Okay, so all that is is just basically reshuffling your numbers and knowing how to go from one form to the other. Now we're going to reverse that. So in example 7 through 12, I've given you six equations that are all in exponential form, and we're going to practice writing those in logarithmic form. Okay, so number 7, we have 14 squared equals 196. So we start with log. The base of the logarithm is always the base uh, that you're given here. So the base of your power is 14. So this is log base 14. And then remember, this is log base 14 of your answer in this original problem. Your answer is 196. So log base 14 of 196 equals, and then after the equal sign, that's where your exponent's always going to go. Equals, your exponent was 2. So log base 14 of 196 equals 2 is the logarithmic form of this equation. Number 8, this one would be log, your base is 3, so log base 3 of 81 equals your exponent 4. Number 9, this is log base 12 of 12 equals your exponent 1. Number 10, log base 36 of 6 equals 1 half. Number 7, this would be log base 2 of 1 eighth equals negative 3 and then number 12 would be log base 8 of 16 equals 4 thirds. Okay, so all we did on this first page here is we rewrote uh, the equations from one form to the other, but you need to be comfortable doing that because that's going to allow you to actually evaluate logarithms, uh, which is what we're going to do on the next page. Okay, so on uh, the back side of your notes here, let's first of all talk about what it means to be a common logarithm. 
So a logarithm with base 10 is what we call a common logarithm. And more often than not, you're going to see that kind of logarithm uh, written without the base. So log base 10 of x is more often than not just going to be written like this. Log and then no base written and then x. So if you see a logarithm uh, where there is no subscript here, uh, that is automatically base 10. Okay, it's sort of like when you see a radical sign like this, we know that the index of it is 2 even though we don't write it. So same concept there. So for 13 through 20 here, we're going to practice um, actually evaluating these logarithms. So you notice these aren't equations. Okay, our job is to come up with uh, what is each of these logarithms actually equal to. And remember the answer to a logarithm, if you look back at 7 through 12, the answer okay, is always the exponent. So our job is to be thinking about what should the exponent be on each of these. Okay, so uh, the way, easiest way to do this is rewrite this as an exponential equation, which is what we just got done doing. So what does log base 7 of 49 mean? Well, it means that 7 to some power, we don't know the power, so we'll just say x for now, 7 to the x power is equal to 49. Okay, well, 7 to what power is 49? Well, x would have to be equal to 2 in this case. So log base 7 of 49 is equal to 2. 14, log base 3 of 27. So you're thinking 3 to what power is equal to 27? We know that 3 cubed is equal to 27. So log base 3 of 27 is just 3. Number 15, log, and remember this means base 10. Log base 10 of 100. That means 10 to what power equals 100? We know that 10 squared is equal to 100. So in this case, your answer is 2 again. 16, log base 12 of 1. So 12 to what power equals 1? Well, anytime you're taking a number to a power and you're getting an answer of 1, you know that that exponent has to be 0. Anything to the 0 power gives you 1. So in this case, we get an answer of 0. 17, log base 2 of 64. So 2 to what power gives you 64? Think about that for a moment. That would have to be the 6th power. 2 to the 6th is 64, so this answer is 6. 18, log base 3 of 243. So 3 to what power gives you 243? Your exponent would have to be 5, so log base 3 of 243 is equal to 5. Okay, number 19, be careful when you have fractions involved. Log base 9 of 1 over 81. So this is 9 to what power gives you 1 over 81? First of all, to go from a whole number to a fraction, okay, you know you're going to have to have a negative exponent involved. Okay, negative exponents, remember, flip your base. They do the reciprocal. So that's the only way you can go. You can start out with a whole number base and get an answer that's a fraction. So we know our exponent will have to be negative. Okay? 9 squared is 81, so it makes sense that 9 to the negative 2 power would give us this 1 over 81. Okay, so our answer to this one would be negative 2. And then number 20, log base 64 of 4. So that's 64 to what power is equal to 4? Well, in order to go from a larger base to a smaller number, so to go from 64 to 4, you're not going to be squaring or cubing, okay? You're actually going to be doing a square root or a cube root or some kind of root of 64. So that means that your exponent has to be a fraction, okay? Remember, fraction exponents um, give you square roots, okay? So think about what fraction exponent would take you from 64 to 4. Well, we know 4 cubed is 64, so then it makes sense that 64 to the 1 third or the cube root of 64 is equal to 4. So in this case, your exponent is one-third. Okay, so this is what I mean by you have to be comfortable with exponents and your exponent properties uh, that we did in the last unit in order to uh, really uh, have a good start with logarithms, okay? All right, last part here, we'll talk about the change of base formula. So most calculators, okay, any scientific calculator and then most graphing calculators um, will have a logarithm button somewhere on the calculator, uh, but it's only going to uh, work with log base 10. So that's why we have this change of base formula here. Your graphing calculators uh, that you have actually will do 
uh, they're nice. They'll do uh, logs in any base, okay? But um, at some point in life, you may not have your graphing calculator handy, or um, if you take a test in high school, uh, it may be no graphing calculator. So you need to know how to use this change of base formula, okay? So that's why we're going to take a look at these. So the change of base formula basically says this. If I have log base B of A, I can take the log any base of A and divide it by the log any base of B as long as these two bases are the same and that will give me the same answer. And so because our calculators, um, any calculator you have will do log base 10, uh, anytime we do the change of base formula we always use base 10 here. So log base 10 of A divided by log base 10 of B is going to be the same as the log base B of A. Okay, so um, Go ahead and get your calculator um, out. You'll need that for this. And we're going to practice using this change of base formula here. So for 21, log base 16 of 64, to rewrite this using the change of base formula, I'm going to rewrite it as log base 10 of 64 over log base 10 of 16. Okay, and now once I have that, I'm going to let my calculator do the rest of the work for me. So when I go to my calculator, I'm going to type this in like so. So on your calculators, your logarithm button is actually right here uh, next to the one. Um, it's this 10 to the X button, but it's, uh, you have to use control because that's where the log is. So we're going to hit control and then this 10 to the X button. And most calculators, again, if you hit log, um, you're not going to have the option to enter anything uh, under here for the base. Okay, your calculator will. So we'll just, uh, since we're practicing the change of base formula, we'll always be entering a 10 here for these problems. Okay, but again, your calculators are nice that you can enter any base down here. So if you're using your calculator, um, you actually don't have to use the change of base formula, um, but we still need to understand how it works, again, for cases where you don't have this calculator handy. So log base 10 of 64 is equal to uh, 1.8062. We're going to round to four decimal places, uh, so 1.8062. And then log base 10 of 16 is equal to 1.2041 and then we'll simplify that so 1.8062 divided by 1.2041 we get um, about 1 1.5, 1 1.5000 and we can just make that 1.5. Okay, number 22, again, using the change of base formula, this would be the log base 10 of 32 divided by the log base 10 of 8. And we can actually do this all in one foul swoop. If we put a fraction in right away, then we can do, in the numerator, log base 10 of 32, and in the denominator, log base 10 of 8 and that's going to give us this decimal of 1.6 repeating okay or 1.6667 okay and that's all there is to it uh, hit pause why don't you try the last two and then once you have 23 and 24 done click play to check your answer Okay, go ahead and check your answers to 23 and 24. 23, again, is log base 10 of 54 divided by log base 10 of 2. That should give you 5.7549. And then 24, log base 10 of 136 divided by log base 10 of 6 gives you an answer of negative 2. All right, if you have any questions over this video, write those down. And until the next time I see you, have a nice day. You're all wonderful people. Take care.